Hi, and welcome and to the show. And a Beyond X. La, 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 la. Hi, and welcome to 3 Minute John. <laughs> and now the news. Facebook and Instagram down. No, no, take me instead. <laughs> On Tuesday, many people across the US, Europe and South America experienced a rare outage that made Facebook and Instagram unavailable. Wow, it looks like a weather forecast for free time. Facebook has officially acknowledged the issue on their social media platforms, but that's just stupid. Because the people affected by the outage will never see the message. Because they can log into Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> Correct. That's why they had to make an official statement on Twitter. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Damn! Posting on a rival platform that your own platforms are not working. During the outage, people were doing stuff they never did before. Couples began to talk to each other. Kids started listening to their parents. Friends got together to have coffee. <gasps> the horror! Of course, that after a while was all fixed. But it took 8 hours. Because Facebook says there was a bug. And everyone could go back to their virtual life of likes, insta stories and stalking their exes. Ah, social media at its best. <laughs> Samsung is serious about foldable phones. We talked last week about how Samsung plans to sell 1 million foldable phones next year. And that's very ambitious given the fact that no one will buy them. Well now, DJ Co is saying that this is not a one-time deal. Samsung will start making new foldable phones every year. It's like Nicki Minaj that releases new songs every year, but that doesn't make them good. That ass though. <laughs> Co also says that along with the foldable lineup, Samsung plans to release the Galaxy S models and continue the Note line. What? I could have sweared they will stop making the Note line. I mean, the S Plus is almost as big as the Note. Even that S is as big as the Note. Beside all of these, they will still be making the budget J series and the mid-range A series. And that means that every year they will release 5 flagship phones and many other budget and mid-range ones. Adam Sandler releases many movies every year. But again, that doesn't make them good, Samsung. Just make less and focus on making them the best. You know? Quality, not quantity. That's why I make only one episode per week. Because I make the best. Now, if you would excuse me, it's self-ass kissing time. Ah. <laughs> Samsung's 10th anniversary Galaxy S10. Next year, we'll get to see Samsung celebrating 10 years since it started copying Apple. Uh, I mean, since they started making smartphones. Two years after Apple. And to mark this milestone, they will release a special super-powered Galaxy S10 that might be called Beyond X. So next year, Samsung will release budget phones, mid-range phones, three Galaxy S devices, a Note 10, a foldable Galaxy F, and a Beyond X? Get the f*** out of here. It's reported that Beyond X, very original name by the way, using the Roman numeral 10, never been done before. It's reported that it will have a massive 6.7 inch display, making the 6.4 inch Note useless. You know, it will have 5G support and 6 cameras. What? 6 cameras? Get the f*** out of here. They won't all be on the back. Two of them will be in the front as selfie cams and four of them on the back like the A9. Beyond X is expected to be released sometime in spring next year after the release of the three Galaxy S10s and after the carriers start to support 5G service. Now I like Samsung devices and maybe I'm wrong and all of next year's devices will be great. It's not the first time I was wrong about something. So young, so stupid. <laughs> but if they make that Beyond X the most powerful smartphone with the biggest display and the best cameras, but with holes in the display for the two selfie cameras like we've seen in the renders, I will not get one. Mark my words. You hear me, Samsung? But if you send me one, I'll gladly accept it and maybe review it and probably like it. <laughs> I'm such a whore. Okay then. 
This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Share this with your friends or even your enemies. Click that little bell. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Maybe the Facebook outage was caused by Twitter that Bluebird somehow found a way to shut them down so that chaos would spread among its users and all of them would seek comfort under its blue, cozy, warm wings. Or maybe someone just tripped over a wire in the server room and f***ed it all up. Either way, yes, you can now close YouTube. There's nothing interesting beside me. Just click the X and come back next Friday just for me. Ha 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 ha